um, I'm just sharing a few pieces from my Moleskin sketchbook. I really have loved working in this small way. <laughs> uh, it's not that small, but you can obviously share, you know, these spreads individually, or you can do a, a sketchbook tour at some point. I might do that um, because there's about 54 yeah, spreads, you know, double double page spreads in this moleskin sketchbook and I'll put the details of the, of the sketchbook down below in the um, description box. Um, so this is High Seas Treaty um, which was a deal to protect international waters, a historic moment and I made this piece using watercolour um, and acrylic paint pens. So for these lines you see the silver I use the silver, yeah, mainly a silver pen, which I did. I use for dots and de the details, really, which I think look really um, interesting. When you when you when you do artwork, it's always the details that bring it to life. I think, um, and it's it is a it's an in, it's an abstract piece, but at the same time, it has some kind of context. So I think that's what I like about the kind of work that I'm doing at the moment, and I did it because of my interest in environmental art. Um, and of course the various sections do have connections to the seas and oceans etc um, one of my friends commented that she thought it looked like waterways from an aerial view of um, a google map so when I did this piece I, I, I knew that I wanted to incorporate text so rather than writing on top of the um, artwork I typed an excerpt from the actual article's headlines and incorporated it that way. Um, I chose green, blue and purple colour text. You probably can't see it very clearly, but that's what I did. I thought I'd blend in some colours that way. Um, and so in my creative process, I wanted to document the piece rather than leave it totally abstract. And that's why I did that. Because it's something I like to do occasionally with my artwork. And so the article was... Um, in um, The Guardian, written by Karen McVeigh in New York, and it was published on the, the day of this High Seas Treaty, which was the 5th of March, 2023. If you have any comments to make, please feel free, uh, ask, ask away. Um, I'm going to be send, posting more of these, not necessarily all envir environmental art uh, pieces, but a range of my... Yeah, selection of my um, artwork uh, pieces that are in this Moleskine journal. And and I think this is a good way to do it, just to focus on one every now and again. Uh, thank you for watching. Bye for now.